I made a tour documentary with Darwin Dees. Here's the story of how that happened. I'm an aspiring documentary filmmaker. Cassette tapes are popular again, so I decided to make a doc on that. April 2017, I start collecting interviews. I just don't think they sound great. June 3rd, 2017, I go to see one of my favorite songwriters perform live. I muster up the courage to ask him for an interview. You want me to sit here or somewhere else? Oh, here's great, actually. Just trying to freeze the question and answer. Okay. If I ask what your dog name is, instead of saying Spike, I'm saying my dog's name is Spike. Got it. My dog's name is Spot. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's <laughs> the trouble I have with cassettes is afterwards, he kind of half jokingly says, You should make a doc on us. I very sternly respond, Yes. I ask my amazingly accommodating job, Can I take all my vacation time starting immediately? So two days later, I've packed all my gear, I take a bus to New York City, jump in the van, and start filming. Don't worry, we'll show you the ropes. Darwin pretty much just gave me complete artistic license. I'm gonna try to stay out of your business. Like, you do what you wanna do. Cause I want you to have fun, and I just feel like that's the best recipe. Darwin set up this tour on Twitter with fans supplying the venues. So they played art spaces, house parties, bowling alleys, bars, basements, and traditional venues. We crashed with whoever would house us. Oh, where are we crashing today? You want some extra beds? Okay, that's what's just right. Eric's documenting our travels. Oh, oh sweet. Yeah. I know there's full, full beds, but I think I'm gonna sleep on the side. Met some great dogs. That one didn't like the camera too much. I didn't own a wireless microphone, so Darwin graciously agreed to wear a lav connected to a bulky external recorder in his pocket for most of the tour. I have a tendency to overshoot, which occasionally means leaving my camera unattended, just rolling. Please smile a little bit. Did you smoke weed? <laughs> no, no. I did, yeah. Oh, I did. I was gonna say something, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> Is that camera on? Action. Here are some shots of me attempting to stay out of frame while eating. Said I'm sorry, sir. Tim loved the fact that I never stopped filming. What do you want? What do you think is gonna happen right now? S.O.S. I've got nothing interesting to say. I'm eating. Go away, I'm eating. You have everything you need at this point. Just hang out. I performed a bunch of interviews with fans. I found Darwin D's low-key while I was tripping on acid. I developed a rash on my hands. It itched. After a few days it spread. I started wearing long sleeves to hide the grossness. Then my face started to swell. After three or four days of it exponentially worsening, I found an urgent care center in St. Louis. Uh, I'd like to make a walk-in appointment for a skin, full body skin rash. It spread to my chest. It was particularly bad on my elbows. They think it was an allergic reaction to sun exposure. Too much time in the van. I got some steroids and Uber to the gig. Whoa, he's back. What'd they say? They give you prednisone? I fucking call it prednisone. Roid rage. You look so much better, Eric. You had us worried, man. The next morning, I was human again. I just love that we picked you up on mid-tour. We were like, hey, come on this fucking tour that we're already doing. I love living my life that way. Eventually all my vacation time dried up and I had to fly home from Nashville. Just don't leave, man. <laughs> the band finished the last two weeks of the tour without me. I left them with a camera and a lav mic, but not many of those recordings made it into the film. All right, now walk to the car. Is this the wrong aspect ratio? Cause that would suck. Hi Eric, do I look cool? Miss you, man. Wish you had stayed on. Why didn't you fucking stay? Fucking could have been there for us. Well, Eric, if you're listening to this, wherever you are, God bless you and... Uh, check out audible.com um, for 25% off your next purchase. Use the, the promotional code, code D's. Nice. Nuts. Nuts. Two weeks later, we met back up in New York City for their homecoming gig. We filmed some interviews. Can I sit on the curb? <laughs> which ended up actually supplying the intro and the outro to the film. I spent the next few months editing. Now it's online. I learned a shit ton from making it. Even though it's not the documentary that I originally set out to create, I really can't wait to do something like it again.